Dr Katrina Warren. When people have a question about their family cat, they call me. Join me as I visit, get to know and help some of the coolest cats around. And together with my colleagues, we assess each new situation, devise a strategy and then I'm off. Hi and welcome to House Cat House Call. Hey Stacey. Hi Katrina. Hi Deb. Hello Katrina. Now wait till you guys see what's going on in this rambunctious household. You might be a bit shocked. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name's Andy. I live in Redondo Beach with my husband Andy, our daughters Kira and Emma, our son Ben, and our little kitten Pancake. It's been a much more fun household since we've had Pancake here. Pancake has a very feisty but playful relationship with my son Ben. And literally they developed this little cat and mouse game. And it just kind of happened naturally. Ben would chase Pancake, but then as Pancake got bigger and more assertive, Ben will be sitting on the couch, minding his own business, and Pancake will come up to him and he'll take a swipe at Ben and Ben will definitely take the bait and run after him and it is on from there. For the most part, it's all in good fun, but we do have to watch Ben because he can get aggressive with him and we're a little worried for Pancake's safety or at least for the safety of his tail. I know Ben and Pancake are just playing with each other, but I wouldn't want either of them to get hurt. I hope Dr. Katrina can help us teach Ben and Pancake how to get along with one another without hurting each other. This really brings to light the importance of introducing a cat into your family properly. You're so right, Katrina. This doesn't look like a safe situation to me. I think we need to set up a safe haven here for Pancake. Yep, I agree. Shall we go and have a chat about Pancake? Sure. Okay, sure. sure. Now I have seen the footage of Ben chasing Pancake on the scooter and I have to say I was horrified because that would be very scary for Pancake and he's got nowhere to escape. He's got this scooter chasing him and, and, and what can he do? So I think we need to start setting some rules for the kids. Now, I think Ben <laughs> might be hard to teach him any <laughs> right. rules, but if we teach him from this age now that he has to really respect Pancake, that he has to sit on the ground, he can only pat Pancake, he can't pick him up. If you're very diligent with that, he will probably learn. And yeah. I, I think he'll follow the girls. Yeah. So Kiera is old enough that she can also teach him right. and lead by example. I want Pancake to have all four feet on the ground. Okay, see how he's got four feet on the ground? Yeah. Now, we're also not going to pat him around the head, we're going to pat him gently, just gentle strokes. And see, I can feel that he, he wants to go, you can feel he's mm -hmm. resisting me, so I'm going to let him go. That's what we need to look at, we need to look at giving you a nice, safe area for him to sleep and to sort of watch the goings on without feeling like he's going to be picked up. And also maybe some more hidey holes, like places, um, some tunnels and, and things that he can go into, but the kids can't quite chase him. Mm -hmm. Oh, now, Ben, we don't crawl in there while Pancake's in there, okay? We're taking turns. You can just pet him, okay? And uh, we're ben. not taking turns. Just pet him. I'll come back and see how you're going, and thank you. Have you been listening? No, no. Not really. <laughs> not really. Oh, hopefully he has. I'll see you soon. Good luck Bye, with that. Bye, Katrina. Bye. 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 House Cat House Call with Dr. Katrina Warren. Presented by Purina Cat Chow. Physical, emotional, complete. That's the Purina Cat Chow way of life. Hey. Hi, welcome Hi. back. How's it going? Thank you. Hi. Hi. So how have things been going? Much better. Kira's taking the lead and helping out with Pancake <laughs> and keeping his feet on the ground when, while we're petting with him. Are we giving him some quiet time? Yeah, yes. we put the, the choo-choo train outside so he's not chasing Pancake around anymore. Beautiful, good work. And, and we just have a rule of no picking up the cat right now until this is smoothed out a little bit more. You can touch him and give him little pets, but no lifting him out of here, I think. And he's loving his new bed, isn't he? Yeah. He's looking very happy up there. Yeah. Now, how is little Ben and Emma going? They've been doing much, much better from the advice that you gave us. Um, Pancake is much happier with the posts 
and the tunnel. He can just relax and no one's bothering him. And he's very happy, isn't he? Yeah. Well, you guys keep up the great work. It's been lovely meeting you all. I'm glad we've made a difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Whoa, bye, Pancake. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Debbie Horowitz from House Cat House Call, and I'm one of the Prina Cat Chow mentors that can help you and your cat get the most out of the life you share. If you have a question about your cat, go to catchout.com and send us an email.